Max. Now, guys, how was it for you? The first band on, I know there was some slight technical issues. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> um, half an hour before we went on, uh, we were just about to sound check, and just my whole body was getting electric shocks. And um, there, there was something wrong with their whole power rig, so they had to get people from the energy company over. And two minutes before we came on, they were like, you're good to go. So we had no sound check when in there. Uh, Winning live, so yeah, it was interesting. Not yeah. exactly the most relaxing experience for you pre show. Not at all, no. Um, we didn't get a sound check. I mean, we did like a very brief kind of like level check at the beginning to make sure all the gear was working and everything was coming out uh, front of house, but. I didn't have any monitors for the first half of the first song, it was scary. <laughs> A good test, you know, you proved you can do it. Does that do you feel more confident now? Well, Stu, we just did a few dates with Stu from um, No Devotion, and uh, he said to us, like, we were like so pumped, like, our Reading and Leeds would be the perfect shows, and he was like, just expect the worst. And I think it was the best advice, because else we would have been so bummed out. But because he said it happens to everyone, like, yeah, we're, we're totally cool with it, and uh, you, you learn from it, so we'll go to Reading with a, with a definite head on our shoulder sort of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you're going to change for Reading? Anything that you thought, you, you know, could have been done better? Obviously, the sound check maybe you'd like to do next time? Yeah, I'd love a sound check, to be quite honest. <laughs> um, yeah, just because, you know, like, <laughs> we were supposed to go on at 12. Um, they literally fixed the problem at 12. Um, so, you know, Mark started playing and I was sort of thinking, is this for real? Is this a sound check? Or is he going to go for it? Um, and then he started moving and I was like, okay, okay, this is cool. Let's go, yeah. Um, and then you just sort of, yeah, we just got into the groove of things. A couple of songs in, I mean, had a few more hitches, but I mean, you've got to expect these things. I mean, is, is that good experience to have something kind of go pretty wrong and not have the sound check, especially, you know, what must be quite a daunting gig to do? Yeah, I mean, you've got to start somewhere and uh, it can't get any worse, <laughs> can it really? Um, so yeah, no, it's all good. We're excited for Reading now. Obviously Leeds, you're much more excited about your talking to Made in Leeds, so you, oh, yeah, you've really. lovely. You know, this is the big one. <laughs> and tell us a bit about you guys, where are you from? Uh, the accents don't sound like you're from this sort of area. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, we're complete southerners, anything outside of sort of Exeter Way is north to us. Uh, so me and from Birmingham is like, oh, you're northern, aren't you? It's like, no, I'm from Midlands. It's like, um, but yeah, no, uh, me and Anna from Plymouth and Mark's sort of extra way. Uh, so we're, we're very sort of southern country bumpkins. So. And what's your impression of, uh, of coming to the north? Are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, I like it. Uh, we uh, had a day off from Leeds and it was quite nice. What did you do? What did you get up to? What sites did you go to? I went to a place called Red's, yeah. barbecue yeah. place. And just had a few beers and a chilled one really, it's obviously today. So, yeah, good. And what are your hopes? When do you go to Reading? Have you got some time to just enjoy today or is it straight there? Uh, pretty much straight down. I think we missed the band we wanted to see, which was Single Mothers. Um, but yeah, I think we're going straight down to catch the biscuit. Because um, you got to. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then we got tomorrow off. So we'll, uh, we'll go see some bands tomorrow. And then Sunday, Sunday we're back on it.